it's all up in the way now Let me get some space now We don't feel a threat Thought I told you I've been coming for your neck This some shit won't forget 2K fam, what's good with y'all? Travi here, breaking down another video But this time for 2K22 As we go through the best Lockdown point guard Build so we're going to start off with the first chart, which is the 11th one down with mostly playmaking. But don't trip. We're still going for those defensive badges to get that lockdown mentality going. I mean, so we start off by bringing the close shot and the driving layup up. And we're ignoring the driving dunk, the standing dunk and post hook for now, because the key for this build is to be able to shoot, dribble and play defense really well. Which is always something that I wanted to do since the 2K17 through 2K19 vibe. Obviously not 2K18 because we all know how that went, right? But anyways, we making sure we bring all those defensive and rebounding attributes up. Because we want to get as much badges for that possible. So as you see, I bring down the playmaking a little bit. Just enough so that way I can get that 87 ball handle. Not now, but like at the end of the build, you'll see why I put it at 82. Because I wanted to be able to get the lockdown takeover. So you want to make sure you have the defensive badges as high as possible while having the other ones balanced. Now, for this build, you see that the three-point shot is at a 75, but... Don't trip. You'll still be able to shoot. you still be able to get those green lights. As long as you got the shooting badges. And you know your shot, of course. But the driving dunk and the standing dunk and the post hook, I kept low for the most part. And I feel like you could too. Mainly because we ain't going to be in a paint like that. Still going to be able to dunk. But that ain't the whole point of this build. As long as you have your close shot and your driving layup close to the 80 range, you'll be good. As for the body type, this is preference. There ain't really no benefit to choosing one over the other. So choose whichever you're comfortable with. And I went with the 6-1 height so that way I can get the speed and acceleration as high as possible without having any setbacks. The weight. Obviously, we ain't trying to lose defense, so I had to bring it back up. So that way, I wasn't getting any minus points for that, and I went with 185. So this right here, you definitely want to go with something, like I mentioned, you don't lose shooting and you don't lose defense. So I ended up messing around with it for a little bit just to find something that I really like. And I ended up going with that right there and we got that lockdown takeover and we got that offense initiator class for this build shades of steve francis dejounte murray and drew holiday ain't mad at that at all so you know we had to go test the build so obviously i ain't put it up to like 99 i put it up to like where i feel like i would start off rip after grinding a little bit and having that VC put in. So. This I'd recommend putting all the way up to 99 over time. Just so that way you could see. If this is the type of player you would want maxed out. So mess around with that a little bit. And right after this. We get into the badges for each category. We on to the badges. So as you see. We get the Hall of Fame badge for the playmaking because the playmaking was the most out of the chart. And we had to go to the defensive first. I mean, because, you know, that's the main goal to be able to clamp up, especially when you got to deal with all the cheesy guards on this game. So we went with the clamps gold. Ankle braces on silver, intimidator, pickpocket, and pick dodger. So this one's preference too, but 
from playing this game for a couple days now since release, I would say that Menace is probably better than Clamps. So I would definitely try to have a combination of the two, but focus on having Menace higher. So that way you can lower people's attributes as you're defending them. And for the playmaking, we had to get that Ankle Breaker, Dimer, Space Creator, and Unpluckable so you can't get the ball stolen from you easily. And Space Creator, obviously, you want to be able to make moves on all that when people are defending you to get that space, too. And I chose Bailout, but then I ended up switching it just because I was playing around with what I felt like works best for me. And to keep it a buck with y'all, you probably won't need to have Ankle Breaker at Hall of Fame. It would help, but... As long as you have the combination of that and Space Creator, you should be good. And now, we head to the shooting. So shooting, blinders, definitely, definitely need blinders. Green Machine's great too. You get the benefit for consistent greens. Wanted that corner specialist. So that way, if I'm on the baseline, run around, off ball screens and all that i'm ready for that three in the corner dead i had to get that on gold just so i'll be able to green in people's faces and you know how that go and for the finishing obviously since you only get one badge you want to make it count and i ended up going with fearless finisher so that way i'll be able to make contested layups dunks and all that as best as i could and it ended up throwing me at the point and that's the build right there appreciate y'all watching make sure y'all like and subscribe the video if y'all ain't do that already stay tuned for the next video where you'll be getting some gameplay appreciate y'all i'm gonna holla at y'all next stream and video